Hello everyone, welcome back to a new Notion video. I am apparently very obsessed with Notion recently. It is not on purpose. I just feel like recently my head has been like clicking with Notion. I just get it on another level. Anyway, today we're going to talk about all the different ways you can make your Notion pages a little bit more aesthetic because I feel like the more personalized they are and the more you actually like looking at your pages, the more you're going to use them. So the ve the way my Russian is coming out. So the way this video is going to be formatted is I'm going to be showing you guys in practice what I'm doing. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the style of the page which is in the top right hand corner right here the first thing i would do is play around with your page like either give it full width or small text or change the font just figure out what you like. I feel like a lot of people don't use this enough, especially with the full width. I personally am not one of those people that likes this little sliding bar. So for me, full width is very often the way to go. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna give our page a background and an icon. This definitely makes your pages look better because if your pages don't have an icon, you just have this same little page icon on every single page. As you can see, this already makes it a lot nicer. So if you want to take this a step further, I would actually use icons instead of emojis because in my opinion, it looks a little bit cleaner. It looks a little bit more personalized because the emojis, even though there's hundreds of them at the end of the day, there's only a certain amount of them. <laughs> so what I would recommend for this is either icons8.com or flaticon.com. You can literally go and like search up like mango. And what you're going to do here is you just open up a picture that you like, you press copy image address, and then you just go ahead and change the icon and paste the link. And boom so as you can see this looks so much cleaner than it looked like before so honestly icons is the way to go for me i do not use emojis anymore hardly ever so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a divider to add a divider you have to go to a new line and just press three dashes i think they're called and you're just gonna get a divider straight away so the reason for using dividers is it actually just organizes everything and just makes everything look a little bit easier to look at so as you can see i added the dividers under the heading i added a dividers after trips countries and cities because it's kind of like the main three databases then we have a divider after places and bucket list because they're kind of like similar thing and travel journal food accommodation is also a separate section straight away this looks a little bit cleaner a little bit more organized your eyes kind of have more of a guide of where to look at and it's not just like everything in a list the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create multiple block stacks because as you can see right here i have the menu but these dividers are really long and they're taking up like so much of the page and i do not need this like i only want the menu to be like this much of the page and here i have this big other database and i just don't like how i have to scroll for everything so for this what i would do is i would take another block and drag it over here to the right to create a block stack and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select all of this and I'm gonna drag it specifically only under menu. So as you can see now that takes up a tiny little section of my whole page and it doesn't go on for the whole page. And I am actually gonna bring this database over here. So my last tip in the basic customization section is to create a color theme. We're gonna be going onto a different page to quickly show what that looks like. So if you have a lot of different pages and they just all have a lot of pictures and a lot of this and a lot of this and they all kind of start looking similar, what I would recommend is giving each page its own color themes. What that might look like is i've created this basic looking dashboard but this is already incorporating a few of the tips that i mentioned earlier so we have a divider we have all the symbols but as you can see it's not the most advanced looking page but we have this kind of like blue and purple color theme and it already gives the page a little bit more like personality next section is called appreciate what you have because i feel like these things people don't use as much but they are in notion you don't have to go to a different website so that is why we're appreciating what we already have so the first thing i'm going to say is you need to take advantage of all the embedding options that notion gives us so if you want to see what options notion already has you can type in a forward slash and just scroll down below and you'll see that it has a lot of stuff you can embed so you can embed a tweet you can embed a google map you can embed a lot of different things it goes way beyond what you're seeing here like you can honestly embed so much more but just look into this like maybe you use dropbox on the daily and you only realize now that you can actually embed that into notion like into your workspace so what we're gonna use for this example is we're gonna embed a google map so i'm just pasting a link from google maps and i'm embedding it here and as you can see you can literally use the page as if you're on that page you can move around you can 
zoom in, you can do anything. And it works like that with a lot of all the other different embeds. So the next thing I would recommend is if you have a lot of databases, if there's a way to make your databases galleries instead of just lists, it would honestly make your pages look a lot better. Here I have like a little database with my upcoming trips. We have the dates, the name, the city, the country, what kind of trip it is. So I've changed it to gallery and I made it so that the card preview is the cover of the page. And I also made the card size small. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go into each page. I'm going to add an icon and I'm also going to add a page cover. And now I'm also going to go into the properties and turn on some of these properties that I want to see. So now it's the exact same database, but I just feel like it looks a little bit better because it is a lot more visual. My next tip is also related to databases. A lot of people do this, including me. I only started changing this recently, but what I realized I really don't like recently is a lot of my databases, they just have this view name of like gallery, table. But if you think about it, you can already tell it's a calendar because you can see the icon right here is a calendar. You can see that this is a gallery. So having them named as this is is just to me not as pretty this is being a little bit extra but this is why we're here we're being extra so what i started doing recently is for the first view of my database i actually just change it to like a star symbol or like any other symbol like you can make this like a love heart or you can you can literally do anything but this is just what i change it to and now if i'm on my gallery i can quickly switch between the two different views because the name is really short so the views still come up also this is a bonus tip this was not in my plan but if in any of your pages you have these like one backlink thing which you will only get in specific scenarios and for example if you don't want it there what you have to do is you have to go into customize page and just turn off your backlinks just a little bonus tip right there so my next tip is to use callouts and quotes instead of headings so there was a point where i just kind of got sick of using a heading and a divider so i'm going to use a call out and i'm going to type in menu and what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the background color of it to default and i also make it bold it's just another way to do a title i feel like it looks really clean and i also added a little menu icon and i've been doing this to a lot of my pages recently just changing the headings to call outs or quotes and it looks a lot cleaner the other option is to do a quote and you actually have the option of changing this from default size to large size which can make it a little bit more of like heading vibes and you can also make it bold so the next thing i would recommend to do is if you have a database create a template with icons so many people have heard of templates before because they use them for databases where they need information in the page already so for example like if i open this barcelona page it has all of this information if i open this it has all of this and that's just automatic i don't have to do it every time but not a lot of people use templates just to add little icons to their pages and i feel like it's really underused so here we have a small little database of all the cities i've been to recently so if we add a new city so for example let's say dublin as you can see all the other cities have this icon but dublin doesn't have this icon and it is such an effort to go onto a website like icons 8 every single time i want to add a city like it's too extra so what i can do is i can just open the page and click new city and all that does is it didn't add any information to my page because i don't need any information in that page but it just added an icon so if you want to change this just go to any database press this downward arrow and you're going to create a template i already have a template but literally all you're going to do is just give your page an icon you don't have to put in any information here and that way if you create any new city you can just open it up and press new city and it just adds the icon like this and it just makes everything a lot more put together a lot nicer i have this in every single database like every single database every single page has a symbol so hello i am back with cherries and cider because in your time i was gone for one second in my time i was gone for like two hours because we were cleaning the garden but um i'm back the sun is starting to set so please excuse the light changes also i never just casually drink cider it's just that this cider has been in my fridge for like a month so okay moving on to our next tip the next tip is to add little gift stickers so if you want to add little stickers like these you just go on to giphy.com and if you type in anything so like if i type in like peach i don't think peach was the right word to type in okay cherry so what you want to do is you want to open any sticker or any gif and then open image address and then if you just embed image it will work for example this is a nice aesthetic shot i used to have this in one of my pages if any of you guys can remember from one of my no 
Mission Tours. But yeah, you can just size it down and you have a cute little GIF. You can also set the icon of your page as a GIF. Also, this fits our theme because it's blue. So yeah, this is very nice. So the next idea that I have is using a call out as a button. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a call out and we're just gonna write, for example, like Lisbon trip. And then we're gonna select this text and just press link. And then you can either paste the link. So this can bring you to like a page on your web. So like you can link it to like a YouTube video or something, or you can link it to one of your pages. So I can link this to my Lisbon trip so that whenever I press it, it's gonna send me to that page. The next thing I have is very underused, but I don't see a lot of people using breadcrumbs. Basically, if you go into a page, like for example, my Turkey group trip, if I open this up as a page, I can type in breadcrumb and it's basically gonna give you this, I mean, it's a breadcrumb. I don't know how to explain it, but it basically shows like which pages it's in. It's kind of like what you're seeing at the top here, but it's just quite useful if you wanna see it like down here for some reason. So the next thing is embedding videos. So for example, say in your fitness page, you have like your workout plan. Like this is what I do on Monday. This is what I do on Tuesday, blah, blah, blah. And say for example, you do some workout videos or you follow along to videos. You can actually get the link and embed video. And then you don't even have to leave Notion. You can literally do your workout from Notion. Like you can make it like full screen, go out of it and you're still in Notion. And it's just like a collection of videos. So my next tip is using a call out as a post-it note. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a call out. You're gonna type something in. And basically most people don't use call outs because you just type in one line and then it just brings you to another line. But this seems like a basic tip, but I feel like a lot of people don't know this. If you hold shift while you press enter, you're gonna stay in the call out. So you can actually use it as like a little post-it note. And if you put like a pin here, it literally looks like a little post-it note. Like it's so cute. You can make notes. Anyway, I just feel like people don't use this enough. So now we're moving on to the extension section. I only have two extensions, but they're pretty cool. So the first extension is called Notion Themes. Basically what it makes you do is it opens up a page and you can choose a theme for your Notion. It's really cool. So for example, I can go ahead and choose this forest theme for my Notion. And if I just go ahead and refresh this page, as you can see, these things will be green. If I select this, it's green, whereas before it was kind of gray. So now, for example, I'm gonna choose library and refresh this and as you can see it just it's nice like notion doesn't give you this so this is really nice also it gives you some dark themes so if i switch to night mode right now this is what it looks like i personally really don't like using night mode because it's really dark like it's really hard for me to see for some reason because of contrast but i can choose another one so for example i can choose nord and then if i refresh this it's a lot like lighter and it's kind of more blue. So there's a lot of different options. The only thing is that if it's night mode, you'll only see it when it's on night mode. So I'm gonna choose this one because I like it. It's really simple, but it has like a little bit of pink. Like if I select something, it's pink. So I really like this one. Another thing is that you can actually change the font. And the next extension we have is tailored notion. For me, I use this extension to hide the help button because I literally, this help button, like I never need it. Like I literally never need it. Like I've never used it in my life and it just if I refresh the page it just gets rid of it which looks a little bit cleaner in my opinion it's not a big thing but um you can use it for bigger things I just don't really oh like you can remove the pages cover and emoji but personally I don't want to do that like to me this looks really empty it obviously glitches because I have an icon so the next section is widgets and most of these widgets are gonna be by Indify it is not sponsored but it's just the most like cleanest best working app so far that works with notion so I'm just gonna go through them very quickly we're just gonna create a page where I'm just gonna show you all the widgets you can make. So first of all, you're going to want to go on indify.co and log in and connect your Notion and whatever it asks you to do. And then once you're logged in, you're going to see all of your widgets. Let's just ignore these. These are some of my old widgets from my old pages. So let me quickly show you guys the ones that matter. The quotes thing, I really don't like it because it's only connected to a certain amount of Instagram accounts and I don't like their quotes. So I personally never use this, but the life progress bar, I actually quite like. And then it shows you like how far along you are. So like not with like, so for example, you can turn off the life option like i don't want to know that i'm 22 percent done with life like that's kind of depressing so i can be like okay we're 48 percent through the year we're 83 percent through the month that kind of thing it updates automatically this could be a really useful thing if for example if you have like monthly goals or yearly goals set you can be like oh okay we're 83 percent done with the month now i need to like hurry up or whatever it is you can change all the details like the colors and stuff but i'm just going to show you guys how to actually use it so you get this link you're gonna go ahead and copy it and literally paste it 
create embed and that is it this is how all of them work you can resize it and like make it to how you want so the next one they have is the weather so you're just gonna select the location you're gonna change all of this info that you need you can upgrade here to add more stuff but it's not necessary you can use this for free and here you have the weather next is google calendar i personally don't like using this but i feel like a lot of people that use google calendar could benefit from this you can basically see like a summary of your day so this is something that it would look like but i don't use google calendar regularly so it's really not interesting for me because i don't use this calendar and i think there's also other ways of viewing it so you can see it per week you can see it per day and you can also see kind of like a summary of your upcoming events the next one is this cute little counter so for example if you have like a reading list page with all of your books this could be kind of cool we also have the countdown so i'm just gonna size this down copy so this is just a little countdown if you need to count down for anything this will automatically update as the time moves next one is the clock so the clock is really cool there's a lot of different types depending on what you like what you want if you want to see the seconds if you want to see the minutes blah 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 there's a lot of different options and it's really useful like if you want to have this on your main dashboard it just makes things look a little bit nicer and lastly we have the button there's also an image gallery but th for this i think you have to like put in a bunch of pictures personally i don't use it but it is an option there button is really similar to the button i made earlier in call outs but um it basically will link to something outside of notion so if you want a button to go to like a youtube video or like another page literally anything you just paste the link in there and then you place it and then you could just press the button and it will just work okay so for some reason the button thing is not working because i think my computer is overwhelmed with all the screen recording but the button literally looks like that <laughs> i don't have to show you anything else you link it to the page that you want it to go to and then it will look like one of those buttons obviously you have the choice of what it looks like and our last widget is an astro chart widget on option i feel like this is quite cool for people that are into it so basically i'm going to leave the link in the description but there's a website called option and it's literally just notion widgets there's so many they're so cool but i just really like this astro chart one so basically if you go into the page that i link in the description you can go ahead and see how to create your own chart it honestly takes like two minutes like if you know the date you were born the time all of that it takes two minutes but i'm just going to show you guys a demo so there's a lot of different settings on how detailed you want yours to be like it doesn't have to look like this this one is very very long it doesn't have to be like this but it basically depends like when you were born what time you were born all of that you can have all of that information i feel like a lot of people are into that so and our last section is called embeds even though we've already been embedding so many things i just can't call these two things widgets so first of all spotify embeds if you for example have like school dashboard or like a university hub page and it's like all of your school related stuff and you have for example like a study playlist you can link this playlist inside of notion so that you can just start playing your music from notion like you don't even have to go to spotify so you're just gonna press share embed playlist and you're just gonna press copy also you can change the colors here so i don't know depending on how you want this to look like you can change this so all you have to do here is just delete the code as you can see you can tell where the actual link is and then just copy the link again delete this paste it again create embed and here you have your spotify playlist and it is really cool you can just literally you can start playing it from here. Never mind. I thought we had one more, but I just tested it and it doesn't work anymore. I don't know why. I hope you guys like this video. I hope that you can make your Notion a little bit more nicer. If you have made your Notion any more nicer, send me pictures on my Instagram or like DM me or like tag me. I don't know. I'm just really curious to see what your Notion boards look like. But yeah, that is it for the video. I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Much love.